Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Cantonese Words Every Beginner Must Know series. Now in this lesson, I'm going to go over words that are associated with the Chinese characters of old, only, originally, out and outside. Now if you wish to study these words in flashcards or quiz format, please check out our Android app in which the link will be in the video description below. So the first Chinese character that I want to talk about is the Chinese character that means old. And in Cantonese, it is pronounced lo, lo. Now the polite term for an old woman or man in Cantonese is lo yan ga, lo yan ga. The Cantonese term for husband is lo gong. Lo gong. A friendly term to address a stranger or a friend um, or to address an old friend, which is that's the literal meaning behind this word in Cantonese is lo yao. Lo yao. Now to address a wife in Cantonese, to address your wife in Cantonese is Lo po, lo po. Honestly and frankly in Cantonese is lo sat, lo sat. Teacher in Cantonese is lo si, lo si. A very um, informal term of mother. Um, and it's sometimes used in a lot of offensive words in Cantonese. Uh, in Cantonese, the word mother is lo mo, lo mo. Now, if you wanted to say, um, like, let's say a, a, you're working under someone and the head of the male family in Cantonese, you would address them as lo ye. Lo ye. Now, if you, a boss, um, in, in which it's a more informal term in Cantonese, we would call it lo sai, lo sai. So if you want to address your boss in an informal tone, like your boss or supervisor, you would say lo sai, lo sai. Father, uh, in a more informal tone, would be lo dao, lo dao. Now another word for boss or the owner of a business like a store, a restaurant, etc., would be lo ban, lo ban. Now, if you wish to review these words in our app, please look at the flashcard set named Words with Old. The second Chinese character that I want to talk about uh, is actually a character that resembles the meaning of only. And in Cantonese, it is pronounced ji. So to say only in Cantonese, it would be ji hai. Ji hai. So for example, if I say only ten dollars, then I would say ji hai man. Ji hai man. Only half in Cantonese, it would be ji yao. Ji yao. So, for example, if I want to say I only have ten dollars, then I would say ngo ji yao sap man, ngo ji yao sap man. Lastly, if only or so long as, in Cantonese, it would be ji yu, ji yu. Now, if you wish to review these words in the Android app, please look at the flashcard set named Words with Only. The third 
Chinese character that I want to talk about is the Chinese character that means originally in Cantonese. And originally in Cantonese, uh, the Chinese word is pronounced yun. Yun. Now, if we want to say originally or actually in Cantonese, then we would say yun loi. Yun loi. Principle in Cantonese would be yun zhang. Yun zhang. The cause or reason in Cantonese is yun yan. Yun yan. Originally or formerly in Cantonese is pronounced yun bun. Yun bun. And excuse or pardon or forgive in Cantonese is yun leng. Yun leng. Now, let's go back a bit. Now, yun loi is more or less used for actually, and yun bun is usually used for the term originally. So, for example, if I would say actually you are you are actually here, then I would say yun loi lei hai li dou. Yun loi nei hai li dou. So yun loi is more or less used as a replacement of actually more than originally. Now, how would you use yun bun then? Well, yun bun is more or less used as a starting point for uh, uh, to replace the term in English originally. So, for example, uh, if I say originally I wanted to go to the bank. Then I would say yun bun ngo sang ho an hong. Yun bun ngo sang ho an hong. So even though that the meaning is very close between yun lo and yun bun, these two terms are actually used a bit differently. Now, if you wish to study or memorize these uh, words in flashcard or quiz format, please look at our flashcard set named words with originally in the app. The next Chinese character that I want to talk about is the Chinese character that uh, represents the meaning of out. And out in Cantonese is pronounced chot. Chot. To be born in Cantonese is chot sai. Chot sai. To exit in Cantonese is chot hoi. The exit or export in Cantonese, which is written the same way, is pronounced chot hao. Famous in Cantonese is chot mang. Chot mang. To come out or to emerge in Cantonese is chot lei. Chot lei. Extraordinary is chot k. Chot k. To attend in Cantonese is chot zhe. Chot zhe. To show one's ability in offering assistance or finding a solution to a problem is chot sao. Chot sao. To appear in Cantonese is chot yin. Chot yin. To speak up or to speak out in Cantonese is chot sing. Chot sing. To go out in Cantonese is chot gai, chot gai, and literally these two characters means to go out into the street. To betray in Cantonese is chot mai, chot mai. To leave home in Cantonese is chot mu, chot mu. Now. 
to act for somebody because of one's good will in Cantonese is chot mean chot mean now if you wish to uh, study these words in our app please look at the flashcard set named words with out and the last Chinese character that I want to talk about is the one that means outside and in Cantonese it is called biu. Biu. now when I mean outside it actually means um, external in a sense so for example if you have a uh, male cousin or older male cousin uh, via the your mother's side um, then we would uh, call him biu ko biu ko and and the reason why we use biu in a sense is because um, usually in 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 in, in, in Chinese families, your last name is usually referred to the male side. So that means that your cousin via your mother's side would not have the same last name as you, and therefore you call him the, the external or outside cousin, which we call them biu ko if they are the older male cousin, or biu dai if they are the younger. Now, of course, if it's if it's a sister if it's a cousin that is a female that's older then we call them biu jie, and if it's younger um, then it's biu mui. now um, expression or external um, uh, 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 feelings or emotions that are shown on the face we call it biu cheng biu cheng to perform or performance in Cantonese, it is biu yin, biu yin. To express, to indicate, or to perform, it is biu yin, biu yin. Now, to show or to indicate in Cantonese, it is biu si, biu si. And to express or to voice or to convey in Cantonese, it is biu da, biu da. Now, if you wish to review these words in the app, please look at the flashcard set named Words with Outside. Now, if you like the content and you like the knowledge that you learn, please like and subscribe to our channel as well as if you have not done so already, I recommend you to download our Cantonese learning app in which the link is in the description below. So this app contains the flash de uh, flashcard decks as well as the quizzes of the words that you have learned in this lesson as well as um, the other lessons that I have offered in my channel. Also, if you have any other learning questions or uh, want to connect with other people who are learning Cantonese uh, the same as you, please join our community Discord channel um, in which I will be there as well as uh, other learners will be there to answer your questions as well as to mingle. And of course, the Discord channel link is in the description below as well. Now, thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next lesson.